But for now, I'm afraid you must once again stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives. Yay. Well, hello again. Long time no see. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, it's been a, quite a long break, hasn't it? About yeah. a three month, three and a half month break. Three and a half months, yeah. Obviously, we've been on lockdown and not been able to go anywhere and, and do very much. So stay at home. Um, it's been it's been tough, hasn't it? It's, it's been really tough, yeah. We've really missed it. We know we're lucky overall. Uh, I've been able to work from home and you know we've still got jobs and and everything and, and our nearest and dearest have been safe so we're really lucky in that respect but it hasn't stopped us missing the hard, outdoors it? has it it's, yeah. just feels amazing to be here on a night like this as well so we've managed to have our first uh, first return to the the countryside to be the lake district which is a real bonus mm. and a night like this just look at that sun it's not quite a sunset yet but it's looking rather glorious over there. Could not have got more perfect weather, nope. could we, to, for our return? It's just sat out amazing. on this bench having a cheeky little beer, enjoying the sunshine. We are. So we're staying in a, a little cottage just back wine. down there. What are you on there? Can of wine. Right. <laughs> you um, know, Grigio fizz. I'm on Whiplash Let It End, which is quite an aptly quite named apt. beer. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it has ended. Yes. Uh, yeah, we're in a little cottage just back over that way. Um, so we're going to sit here and soak up some sunshine and soak up the atmosphere and the outdoors, which is long overdue. We're in Stable Cottage this yeah. time, which apparently was used to keep the he heavy horses um, on the estate mm -hmm. before they got shooed over in the blacksmiths, which is across the way from us. We've usually been in the log cabin down here, which is really lovely, but the whole place, the whole farm is, is fantastic, isn't Superb, it? Superb, yeah, love it. So yeah, I think we're going to finish these uh, cheeky beers and enjoy a bit more sunshine and then head back for some showers and some dinner mm -hmm. and get our heads down and uh, head off on a bit of a walk tomorrow. Get out into the great outdoors. Yes, very, very much missed great outdoors. Can't wait. So we shall catch up with you in the morning as we head out onto the trail for the first time in a long time. So see you in the morning. Ta ta for now. Well, good morning. It is a good morning. Absolutely glorious morning. Beautiful. And we've come over to the very top end of the Dudden Valley, which is not a very well trodden area. Uh, we've not been here before to this particular spot. It looks absolutely stunning. It's I can't spectacular. Wait to it's got a really remote sort of wild feel about yeah. it, doesn't it? That's the valley down behind us, the way we've come in down there. Uh, we've parked just up this way in a little place called Frothpot. Which <laughs> Sounds like something out of Fraggle Rock. <laughs> I find quite amusing. We're at Frothpot. Uh, so that behind us up in the distance there is Heart of Fell. And that is today's mission. Uh, I think it's going to be quite a warm one. I've not brought any shorts with me, so I'm in long trousers, which I'm regretting, but not a lot I can do about that. So I think we're heading out into this forest behind us here, round the base of the fell that way, and up the far side, but really looking forward to this one. Perfect weather, glorious surroundings, no wind. Let's get rolling. Going.
You alright up there? So yeah, quite a steep gradient we've been climbing here. That's back down into the valley that we've come from. But it's uh, quite a loose, quite eroded, steep technical path. Which we uh, sort of weren't expecting, were we? Feels good. It feels great, but this is the first kind of proper climb we've done for quite some time now. So a uh, bit of a, a rebaptism of fire, but really, really great to be out. And look at this weather. And look at these uh, surrounding hills. Absolutely magnificent. Wowzers. Absolutely stunning. Blown away by this. It's been a tough old climb up, up that uh, southeast side. It was steep all the way, but my word, is it worth it? Oh, it's so worth it. It's not really a popular fell. I mean, we've no. not seen a single person. Yeah, nobody. But because it doesn't flank anything, you can't do it as a ridge route. It's just out here on its own. But I like that. It's, it makes it feel more isolated. It, it does feel very remote. But... I'll have a little spin round and the, uh, the backdrops in all directions are just amazing. We've got the, uh, over where I'm looking there is the Scarfell Massive. The fell's on the other side of the Dudden Valley. You could just see Seathwaite Tarn, I think, somewhere in the distance, but uh, absolutely incredible. Blown away by it. What a return. Hey! <laughs> So we have just sat and had our lunch and we're looking at the lie of the land in front of us. Some familiar territory out there. If I can do a bit of zooming, you can see in the middle of the picture there is Burnmore Tarn with uh, yew barrow just up behind it. And then there's uh, the mighty Scarfell Pike and Scarfell over there, the Lord and Lady. Uh, and we'll move across to middle of the picture there is Bow Fell and Crinkle Crags to the right of it. And if we head back down into the valley we can just see, see if we can find it. 
a hard knot Roman fort in the middle of the picture there. The hard knot pass road there. Yep, just below it is the hard knot pass. Quite a nice view Amazing to eat view. your lunch with. So clear. Well, we have finished our descent down from the summit. You can kind of see the edge of it back up there. And it was a straight line descent, straight down the side, nice and steep. Better path than yeah, the Yeah, much better though. path. Uh, more grass, more grip. Yeah. The path up was a bit sketchy, but uh, not too bad. So we came up the south... We've come up the southeastern side. And we've come down the southwestern side, so to get back over towards where we were parked, we are going through, you've probably seen it on the way down as we were looking over. This is the Hard Knot Forest. So, there's a little note here on what's going on. Uh, they're restoring it, there's a lot of work going on there, which is nice. So we are going to head into the Hard Knot Forest, and through it, back towards the car. Get a bit of shade because yeah it's, it's been oh yeah, <laughs> it's been red hot i can feel my head burning that sun's just been right in front of us all the way down so nice nice change after winter yeah right let's get rolling then Well then, we are approaching the car park again. What a fantastic day. Absolutely fantastic day, yeah. Really, really superb. As a reintroduction back into hiking after three months of nothing. Yeah. Couldn't have asked for it to be better, could we? No, we really couldn't. Perfect weather. Loved it. Excellent route. Such New a beautiful area. area. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be doing some more exploring around definitely. here, won't we? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so good to be back out. Really, really enjoyed the day. It's done uh, wonders for the head. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we wanted to say before we go as well, hi to one of our newer subscribers who is all the way over in South Korea. A guy called Silky. How are you doing, Silky? Uh, if you've hi, not Silky. seen any of his videos, I'll uh, try to put something on the screen or a link in the description or something. He's uh, doing some amazing stuff, putting together yeah. some really nice videos, Definitely great drone footage. Check out his channel. Um, He's, this, his this... videos have kept us going in lockdown. Yeah, we have. We've watched a lot of your videos in, in lockdown, Silky. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the scenery over there is absolutely amazing. So go check his channel out and have a look at some of those videos. They're really, really good. Um, but yeah, from us, from a very happy pair, <laughs> uh, this is us signing off in the sunshine. So thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Lots more adventures yep, to come. Lots more on the way. Ta-ta for now. See ya.